Um, Caitlin was diagnosed when she was six um, and it happened at home. I'd made some um, chocolate peanut brownies for the first time. Um, up until then, she'd eaten nuts in um, chocolate spreads and in cereals um, and had no problem at all. Um, but she started to um, say her tongue was really itchy and it didn't feel right um, and it was really sore. And then two years ago, um, she had a reaction where we well, weren't quite sure what was going on really. And then she became very grey in her face and um, started to complain she had stomach pain. Um, and within a few minutes, it was telling us that she felt like she was dying. Um, her breathing changed quite rapidly um, till finally she just kind of just fell on us. I think when you're a parent, you don't want your children to have anything wrong with them. Um, even if they're just ill, you want to take it away for, from them and, and for them to be better. Um, and it's also really scary because it's such a huge potential danger for her that you, yeah, you kind of think, oh, we can't go out to eat anymore. We can't go to parties. What happens if we want to go on holiday? All these kind of things that you initially are very fearful for. We did lots of research on the internet and we got in touch with anaphylaxis from there, from the searches. And it was them that's kind of provide us with a lot of information um, because we we didn't know if we could eat out anymore, how it was going to affect us, what happened when she went to parties, things like that. We have to check if we go out anywhere to eat. Um, we have to check all the labels and Caitlin's got very good at actually speaking to the waiter or waitress and saying, I have a nut allergy. I know you can't guarantee nuts are in my food, but can you just make sure it's kept away in an area where there's no nuts? Um, and can you tell me if nuts are in these ingredients? From an early age, her younger brother, Jack, um, will say, have you got your EpiPen? And we, and we all sort of double check with each other and triple check and make sure. When you get a child who's diagnosed with marriage, you're a member of your family, it's important to have some support network there. Um, we've managed to help other people now um, and give them advice. Um, but yeah, the anaphylaxis campaign, they kind of keep up to date with um, latest product information. And I think it's just really, really good value for money to have someone that you can just literally phone up and say, what do we do? When um, you have a child with a severe allergy, it is very frightening and it is very scary at times. Um, but I, well, we have really wanted to show her that it doesn't have to affect her whole life, that she can carry on as normal. She just needs to be just a bit extra careful and watch out for things. With the information we've had and what we found out, we try to let the nut allergy fit in with us and not us fitting around the nut allergy so that she has a normal and fun life as much as she possibly can.